Hello to all of you inside and outside of the box. I am Dan, and today I am playing Mist. Now, why am I playing Mist? Well, you see, I have not been giving myself time for play, time to just enjoy myself, so much so that I don't think I've actually played a video game in a good three or four years. So we're going to start with... In fact, one of my earliest memories of a game, and if memory serves, one of the first video games to use a full graphic interface. Um, so I'm very excited to get back to it. I don't. I I was so young when this came out that I really didn't understand any of the actual puzzle aspect of it. Uh, I know that I'm definitely going to need these. Um. I picked it up a few years ago when I still had a Steam account that I was looking at and played through, I think, maybe 20, 30 minutes of it. So there's maybe one or two puzzles that I might be helped out, uh, but otherwise, pretty much going in completely blind, which I think is the best way to go in. So nobody helped me. Um, I think it'd be best if we just enjoy the struggle together. And uh, yeah, I, I really don't remember a whole lot, so let's just open her up and have a bit of a nostalgia trip, shall we? And as you can see, like, you know, I've basically just booted it up and this is the only game I have listed on Steam right now. So yeah, really getting back into the whole hobby as a whole. All right, here we go. God. God, I love that sound. Jesus, that's intense. <laughs> Whew. Wait, where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. God. Okay. Okay. So, what? Wait, why is there a load game? Is there a file that... Okay, no, no, there's just... Okay, uh, cancel. All right. So here we go. One more time. Um, oh, actually. Here, let me just... Uh, uh, no, the sound, sound's probably fine. Uh, yeah. Let's just... Well, well... Let me just... Let me just double check. Let me just... Let me just... Let me just double check. Ah! So... <laughs> Okay, just double check the sound, it's fine. Uh, in fact, I was able to bump it up just a little bit more. But uh, yeah, here we go, one more time. <laughs> hey Dan, when you edit this, just skip to the title so that we don't have to listen to the, the thing again. There we go, okay. <laughs> All right, so, new game, here we go. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had a So here we go. He tried to destroy the book by jumping into I an abyss. I to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. I remember none of the stories, so this is important. Still, about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. written. And here we go. The ending hasn't been written. Looks like it's up to us. What could be inside? No cursor, nothing to do but click. There we go. And in we go. Oh, there it is. 
<laughs> oh, that tickles me. All right, we on the docks. Let's, uh, I know there's a door here. When I played this back in the 90s, that was so dark. You could, you really, really couldn't see it. It's much easier to see in the new version. I gotta turn this down for my my ears. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Better. Okay. Creepy basement. Any dark location in this game scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Mostly just empty space. Posting here. All right, what do we got? So, dimensional imager. Topographical extrusion test. It's Forty. Water turbulent pool is sixty-seven. Marker switch diagram forty-seven. Writing stuff down is where this gets really exciting. Water. got our first bit of random info. Oh, button. 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 <gasps> okay. <laughs> Pretty simple. Okay, so let's uh, try the topographical extrusion test. Oh. So does that go to the thing behind us? That looks topographical to me. Oh geez, where is that? That's that's very mountainous. Huh. What's this for? All right, let's try the other two. So we got uh, water turbulent sixty-seven. Oh, is that what it was on when I came in? <laughs> what these sounds. Yes! Cool. So that's like the chill vibe uh, default room setting for when you just want to have friends lounge in your secret dockside compartment. Marker switch diagram 47. Something tells me this is one I'm going to need later. Oh, it just shows what a marker switch looks like. Cool. Cool. Okay, I think we're I think we're basically done in this room. Let's get out of here. Oh, it goes so much faster than when I was. Ah. Oh. You know, I, I think there's also a version of this where you can kind of just WASD your way through. I I don't remember what these do. Um whoa. We'll say we'll we'll say up for now. Um, what, what's the one up here? So that, that one's down. We'll, we'll flip that one up too. I don't know. Okay, the music up here creepy as hell. Why is there so many different music on this one island? All right. Ooh. Yes, information. Catherine, I've left you. I've left for you. Mm, not starting off strong. Catherine, I have left for you a message of utmost importance in our fore chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of the marker switches on this island into the imager to receive to retrieve your message. Yours, uh, Al Al Abus. Uh, yeah, it's Abus. I think that's a B, right? Somebody, I need a I need a handwriting expert. Get a handwriting expert in here. 
Okay, so enter the number of marker switches on this island. So we've seen... Okay, number of marker switches. So that the whole point of that marker switch diagram was to let us know for this note what a marker switch looks like. So now we can start counting them. And so far, we've seen two. I think. Let me just real quick. Yeah, we've seen two. So so that's that's number three right there. And it's a good thing I'm recording this so I can come back and double check these if I get it wrong. Um, flip, oh yeah, I can just flip it up to keep track. So that one's up, so I've counted it. Ooh, that looks like a murder chair if I ever saw one. Ah, yes. What do we have here? So that's month, date, year? Year. Yeah, year. Oh, shit. Uh, and time. Okay. So... Ah! Ah ha 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 ha! <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can... Oh! Okay, okay. I'll need, I'll need that later. Definitely. Is that the imager? Is that where I... No, no, because I'm just typing in a single number. It's whatever marker switches, they aren't going to... They aren't going to correspond to coordinates, so... Um... We got a library. We got books. We got a book. Ooh. I've called this age Channelwood, as it is very a very different world. Though it is exactly how I imagined it, it is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. Water covers this age as far as I can see, except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees, which grow directly out of the water. A myriad of thin wooden passages are built just above the water and disappear into the forest. I assume they were built some time ago, for they appear aged. I am eager to discover more about this land and its people, but I have arrived here late and I must rest. I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to the one on, on which I had slept while I saw, I saw a group of monkey-like people heading in my direction. They had not seen me, yet I did not feel threatened by their presence. Their response to me was one that I would have never expected. After staring at me for a short time, they fell to their knees and begun what appeared to be some sort of ceremonial worship. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below were changing color slowly, subtly. They would change from a deep blue to a muddy orange, then from muddy orange to beautifully clear. I was so intrigued by the water, I hardly noticed that we arrived at the ladder. Climbing the ladder uh, led us to their village, which is about ten meters above the water and can only be reached by rope ladders that stretch from the lower paths of the village level approximately halfway up the grand trees. It was very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Even after watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what they were doing. Okay, so we have... These are all explorer's journals. Uh, and so we have one world described here. I remember that there are different worlds that you need to go to. I, I remember kind of stumbling my way to them when I was younger. But So... What we have so far is a description of the world. We have a little bit of lore as to, like, what the culture and people are like. And I'm betting there's also pertinent information here. Uh, At sunset, they most me would follow them. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once we were inside, I found that the hut appeared to be even larger than it had from the outside. The walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. 
At least he appeared to be their leader. For he sat a meter off the floor in a thick throne. Guards surrounded the strong creature who was dressed in many exotic, colorful fabrics. Next to the leader sat a very old human, at least to some extent he appears human. His hair, which was only on his face and head, was completely gray, almost all white, and hung very long around his frail body. His thin head hung Im limply by uh, an almost grotesque neck that could not hold its head up to look at me, but what a surprise this creature could speak my language. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked be telling me to go to sleep. I looked forward to learning more. He is human. Uh, he's almost insane. The tree dwellers. Very uncomfortable. Okay, so this guy was also treated as a god before. I can always come back to the. Whoa! Why is it changing color? Does that bring colored ink with him? I don't think so. Check on his morning age. Catherine is staying behind as expected. I have lived in this world for three months off and on, and the tree dwellers have shown me great hospitality. I'm even beginning to learn bits of their language. I've decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and my sons, hopefully return with them. However, I am sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age would be a wonderful experience for them um, all, but and I at least look, uh, look forward to seeing Sirius and Akonar, how, we, how they will react to its curious inhabitants. Catherine is staying behind. Sons for return with him. Leaving tomorrow to check out his Nonian age. Tree dwellers seem distressed that I'm leaving. Happy that they're staying. I've been gone for over three days and been many different places. About Pran's death today. Who's Pran? Well, they only remembered her from his childhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's... Man, there's a lot here. Was it always this dense? I guess it really ups the playtime if you have to read all this. Oh, hey, hey. Okay, so this this looks a little bit familiar. Okay, so let's just read the last year. Finally understand why the tree dwellers have been giving me a Okay, so the ink came from the tree dwellers and they've changed color and it's based on and they seem to be the color changes seem to be specific to journal entries, so that would it would be by the date. Uh sons are with the creatures for the night. Last night here they had They have told me they would like to come to Channel World again. But, uh, Okay, so that's Channel World. So, we also have some burnt books here. Don't really have any. Yeah. So the intact books really stick out. So that was that. So to, that was the top left one. So we've read that one. There's one here. This one refers to the rocks. Uh, oh boy, this one's got disappearing ink. Oh. Okay, we'll need to come back for that one. That one's a specific island. Okay, so presumably presumably there's a book to help with each ooh oh I bet this is what the number of marker switches is. I bet that's what this is. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet this is where it goes. I bet this. We put whatever whatever the number is. We put. We take it from here. We put it into the imager. Okay. Um. That's nothing. Nothing. Here. Okay. This is beyond the horizon. This is where we got stairs. Black ship. That one's pretty short. Okay, so we probably will have to read through all of these. Um, but I guess we don't have to do it now. Let me just see if there are any more. Because it seems like the ones that are readable are pretty obvious. Except for that one. That one looked like I could read it. Nope. 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 And nope. Wow, so there are really only one, two... No, that was not... One, two, three, four, five... Is, 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 it's only five books? So only five books, okay. So... We basically read that first one. We'll come back and do another one sometime. Uh, let's see what we can do about getting to Channel Land, maybe. Maybe since we saw that one, we can uh, do... Oh! Hey! Dabu-D. dabu die. Okay. What's this? Hmm. Take a look. It's in a book. So that was, Cirrus, uh, I guess. Well, he was asking about Cirrus? Not there, right? Really. Red versus blue. Okay, guess you're gonna need some magic paper, too. Hey, I like your mustache. Bring me your red, pages. red pages. You want more red pages, huh? I can't. I can't see. You let me make too Oh, so he's serious. Okay. I remember... I remember the brothers a little bit. And I... I think I'm not supposed to trust them. Whoa! Why is the, uh... <gasps> Why is it these... That's loud. Okay. Um. Painting, 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 painting. Ooh, look what you did. Nice. Uh, 
Oh, okay, now the door is closed. But this is a... Oh, so that must... Okay, 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 so... Uh... Ooh. Creepy, 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 creepy. Oh, boy. Can I... Is there anywhere else to... No? Okay. Uh... Guess we're going... We're going up. Gears. Okay, so this is the tower at points then. Oh! What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Key. What key? What key? What? 240? Okay. What does that mean? And it's pointed at the gears. All right. So what if I, um... There, now it's pointing at whatever that is. So now if I go back here... I love how much faster this moves than it did back when I first played it, because you'd have to wait like a full like two to five seconds between each move every time you clicked the mouse. And of course, you know, we'd never really seen anything faster, so it's not like it bothered us at the time, but, you know. Okay, uh, that... Oh, that's the crow's nest! That's the ship! Yeah, I remember the ship. Okay, okay, so I'm pointing at the ship, and is the plaque different? Still a key. Oh! So that one's dates. So... Wait, if it's a key, that means... Is that what I need to open each of the worlds? So, cool, 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 cool. So, so what we can do yeah, so let's, I'm gonna finish just like exploring the rest of the island uh, and counting those switches and then I can pick a world to start with uh, da, 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 da. oh right the painting the painting the painting the painting painting gorgeous gorgeous okay outside is back open Ooh. all right before we move down there let's uh, go take a look at rocket rocket boy okay not running I think we need to like yeah, we need to run power to it somehow. Okay. Um, but that was... Oh. Counted that marker switch. That was marker switch number four. And... Uh, wait. I think I got some. Right? Because... Okay, so... On the map, it only had... Yes! Okay, so those marker switches also activate them on the map, so... Now I can find the unlock for those, so I have to like find the marker switch, then go to it, and then I can figure out how to unlock the world. Okay, so 
Let's find more marker switches. Ship. Okay, so I can turn that red or green. I guess that means on or off. The eye. So we're going to need to, oh, marker switch. So we're going to need to find something, it's probably in one of the books, about, about these symbols, because I bet we'll need them for the ship. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh! Oh, they got birdies! Oh no, butterflies. They're butterflies. <laughs> you can have artifacts like that uh, in the point and click. Oh, there's number six. Six marker switches. Let's see if there are any more down here. Ain't that some creepy music? Whoa. Okay, that's terrifying. Seven. Okay. So I'm gonna have to get that to a specific amount. So that only raises that side. Into the left thing. What? A <laughs> well, I broke it. Oh, hello. Power and power to spaceship. I see. Okay. So the spaceship wasn't getting any power. Is that like a bus thing? Did I like go over the number that it needed? Okay, but yeah, I got that marker switcher. So that was number six, right? Okay. Clock tower. There's a marker switch over there. Can't get to it until I drain it though, but we'll mark that as number seven. Editing Dan, don't let me forget. Oh, number eight. And what do we have here? Okay, we've got a nozzle. A combination. Some kind of furnace. And I don't know. Uh, all right. Oh, hey. It's a big tree. You're a big tree. Goodbye, big tree. I will see you again. I have no doubt. Okay, so if that's all of them, that was only eight marker switchers. But I didn't see anywhere to enter that in. Wait, can I click on the fireplace? Why would I click on the fireplace? <gasps> what? <gasps> Button! 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 Okay. What? <gasps> okay, 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 ok
Okay, so... What, what, god, I have to copy this whole fucking grid. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, eight by one, two, three, five, six. Uh, 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 uh. So then we just, uh, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yes, that works. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's 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 what we're looking at. All right, Chris. So if there's truly eight marker switches on the aisle, then that means nope, not that. We uh, fireplace. Okay. So. It's the right grid. Uh, and button again. Did that do anything? What did the note say again? Imager. But I did the. <gasps> Was that not the imager? Was the imager this thing? Imager! Imager! Guys, this is the imager. This is the imager. I had it wrong. for Catherine. Wait, am I Catherine? Have I been Catherine this whole time? Am I your beloved Catherine? So... So we were right. The sons can't be trusted. Ha 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 ha. That was really cool. This game is making me feel really smart right now. Alright, let's... let's Let's go to a world, shall we? Let's 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 go visit somewhere. Um Let's see. Let's see. Uh What do we know so far? Well, well, let's let's just um Let's go We need the tower rotation to figure it out. So let's um start with Let's start with Gear World. God, that's horrifying sound. Okay. Gear World. So what's the... What do I need to know? I love how fast it goes, you guys! This was six bucks, by the way. I think that's fair. 
Yay, Steam. Shout out to Steam. Let's all see how much we love the Steam. Actually, let's let's save. I guess it auto saves. Cool. So not pressing escape. No, I want to go. Oh, God. Uh, I don't like him. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Uh, I got turned around there. Oh, so, oh god. Help! Help! There are so many parts of this game that make me feel like I'm either, I've either just been kidnapped or uh, I'm escaping being kidnapped. Okay, let's reopen the out of doors. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now, let's go back to Gears. See what we got. Okay. So, I don't know where to input that yet. So... Yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to come back to that one. Um, where else can we go? Okay, this is the crow's nest one. Let's see what the uh, clue is. Fast clicking is something I'm not used to. Ah. enter those in at the planetarium observatory thing sky sky net lab ah there we go the automatic turnaround is what getting elevator ride i'm sure this was really intense but now it's uh it's the only thing I have to wait for. <laughs> the animation. It's so cool, but... Won't people think it's a little long? Nonsense, they have to wait two to five seconds between clicks! The animation is just a treat. I bet they'll just play the animation over and over and over again. Alright, so let's enter those in at the observatory. Alright, cool. So, let's see. Our first date... October 11th, 1984. Why does the music stop when... Oh, 
probably because of how soundtracks worked back then. Um, 1984. Is that a significant date in 1984? Oof. A tinny sound. Tinny! There we go. Uh, 1004 AM. That looks like the leaf. These are constellations that match the switchers by the sunken ship fountain. So, this one is the leaf. Date number two. Let's see, January 17th. 1207. We go in back in time. constellation stuff in like one of the books or something or maybe I'll just recognize it when I see the actual I don't know I don't know let's look at the third one November 23rd Sorry about the noise. <laughs> All right, and we're going for 6.57 p.m. Wow, way to keep me in suspense. Uh, that's interesting. sure what that one's supposed to be. I'm actually going to take a picture of that one, too. That one's uh, it's hard to... Alright, so we got our three. We know one of them is the leaf. Let's see if we can figure out the other two, shall we? Okay, so it's got to be in one of these books, right? Okay, not that one. Not that one. This one's got the ship. Yes! Okay. Um, that's not it. The snake. The second one is the snake. Okay. Snake. And the third one. Is that the... Is it the beetle? Yeah, it's the beetle. It's the beetle. And I was right about the leaf. Okay, cool. So I should probably read this real quick if I'm about to go to this world. Alright, gotta put on my narrator voice. <clears throat> Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of the large sea. This was where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks as if it... It was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this person, this new person, Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. 
The sun always shone brightly in their world, and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. Mmm, sounds wonderful. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least. That is the story I was told when I arrived uh, today at the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree while on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, and yet they obviously still feared, feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave them the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand. Not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by my father. Or by father. It might not be his father, maybe just called father. I attempted to create a boat by writing in it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few questions of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I see the boys enjoy it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks, and in the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding this uh, the solar system of this age. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also during the night I catch glimmers of the light from the horizon which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands or rocks. I should very much like to discover which. I rather suspect it is additional people which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have discovered I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light towards the horizon it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its its source if they have the means. I return with my many tools that I will need for the construction of the lighthouse. I have decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now. We are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems not to not be as secure as I would like. I have had to alter my plans slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. Boys are quite strong and have been able to helping me and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will be done in two days. The lighthouse is finished and we are all proud of I'm already dropping the narration voice. The lighthouse is finished and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are, are amazed at the structure uh, wrought from the rock with our own hands. That evening, we powered up the generator. Much to the boys' dread at first and there shined a great light on the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse, and in the morning awoke to, dis to observe the sunrise without 
my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the, sh the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art. Okay, so clearly the art is something that we're going to have to think about what that is. Uh, clearly referring to either building these worlds or traveling between them or cataloging them. That will have a more profound impact on this world than I could ever have ever written. I think... Okay, there's like a crude map, so there's like a... Oh, oh that must be the big rock. The path at the top. There's the half-sunken ship. And some rocks with some planks in between it. One of these must be the lighthouse. Get this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open some day in the future, only to discover that it's changed so much that it is indeed a surprise. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some some way to travel underwater in this new age. And so much planning is in order. It has been ten years since I left this age, which I have called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. They are... So it only rained while he was there? They are all very content and have been serving me with new foods and sh uh, showering me with new materials they have discovered. It se even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it so. Yet I have noticed, noted that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. It's like one and a half feet. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. And then we have the constellations. All right, so let's go see what became of that world, shall we? Not the fireplace. So we need... No. Leaf. No. No. Beetle. And Snake must have been the one I turned on before. Because I hear it draining. I hear it draining. Yes! Ship above water. Let's go take a look. Bum 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 bum. Here it is. Look, we did it! We did it, guys! Yay! Ooh, Captain's Quarters? Captain's Quarters. Yeah. Quarters for Captain. Somber and foreboding music. That definitely looks like the rocks. In we go. Um, here we go. There we go. <laughs> So, Captain's Quarters, plank to the left, plank to the right, straight ahead, water. Okay, so, let's plank to the left.
that sounds like a pump. I can only have one on at a time. Okay, so let's start with... Let's start with the golf. Let's just look at the zones. So, this is the lighthouse. We got a key here. Goes to that, most likely. So that's probably a place that can drain. The ship is probably a place that can drain. And... Oh. Hey. Neato. I wish the music would stay. Hmm. What? What's... Oh, that must be the mast. There's the lighthouse. I want to look at this. Oh, well, I'll go this way. I was basically halfway around. So, not really much to see. It was basically just the lighthouse I needed to know about. I think... I think, yeah, I think I just need to know, yeah, it's just the lighthouse. Okay, cool, 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 bros. Nice setup right there. Okay, so... Let's try the first... Uh, let's try the pump on the left first. Let's just go left to right, making a system. So did that. So that cleaned out that. Did it clean out that as well? No. Okay. So. So middle pump. This then. Yeah. Middle pump does that. But I can't see. And third pump does lighthouse. Third pump does lighthouse. Ooh, treasure. Leaky treasure. <laughs> okay. So let's, um... Let's start with that first area, because I don't really know what to do with the other two. Okay, cool. So we're in this ship. It's kind of dark. Kind of really dark. Can't really see. Is there like a light switch I'm not seeing? Probably not. Huh. Okay. Well, how would I get power to the lighthouse? Some kind of. Hmm. Wait. How? Oh, because I emptied it and it it floated. What? Do you go here? Hey, I'm I'm in the generator. Generator. How, how do I know if it's doing anything? Is it doing anything? There's a status bar. Okay. Okay. That may maybe that's enough. Let's see. Hey, this looks this brighter, right? 
this is brighter. No, still can't see. I still can't see. Oh, that's lit though. Ooh. Middle. Let's go. Whoa, with the, with those doors. I guess not. Okay. Thought I could. I thought I could open those. Oh. Okay, getting a very strong red vibe. Can I click on anything? No. Glow. Oh. That's a scary glow. What does this one do? Also a scary glow. Your family has very interesting tastes. Ah, uh, drawers. Let's invade some privacy. Jewels. Gold. These guys are pirates. Fabrics, nothing. Red page. Um. I'm gonna leave these for now. Another drawer. Oh, my. Uh, you, 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 all right there, buddy? You do it. You doing okay? All right, Mr. Red. Uh, well, that was that was fun. Wait, is there any way I can turn the power back on? The other. I feel like there's something I missed here. Or is... Wait, what? I feel like I missed something. Is there something under the bed? What? what, what? Why can I click on the bed? So is there just like a red or a blue page in every world? Or is there a red and a blue page? Where's the front of the ship? Do I... Is there anything different with the lighthouse? Oh, it's on. It's pulsing. It's pretty dope. Wait. What's the... Oh, that's the pumps. Okay. Um... Is there anything new in the lighthouse? I just have a feeling that's gonna run low eventually. Alright, what's this? Trying to have side again. It's still dark as fuck. Okay. Let's just. I don't know, let's, let's strain the lighthouse again, maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of grasping at straws at the moment. Now I got the key again. What is that good for, though? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah.
Yes, of course. There's a switch. There's nothing else I can do with that. that well, there's got to be something else I can interact with Take a peek up here one more time. Okay, let's let's pump out number two again. It seems to be one of the only places we can actually explore right now. I feel like I must be missing some kind of secret passage or something. Wait. Ah. <laughs> mm. Oh, that was just too good. All right. Crawl space, here we go. Yeah, this isn't creepy. I'm definitely not going to get murdered down here. That's definitely not a murder wheel. This is a this is a compass point compass pointer. Um, so wait, if uh, the lighthouse was at 135 degrees, right? Because let's see, there's 90 degrees here, so these would probably be time to find it up into let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are each 10 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. No. They would have to be more than that. Oh wait, 135. 135 would be... Oh, that would be the halfway point. That's a different crawl space. Okay, 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 cool. So found the other. Excellent. So there is a red and a blue page for each, because this is. Oh god. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, alright there, bud. Yeah, oh, 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 oh god. Oh, they're certainly setting up Blue to beat the, uh, crazy guy. Arcanon, I think his name was. Uh, that, uh, that mattress don't look too good. Oh, boy. Oh, that's, uh, uh, I need to get cleaner in there. Ooh, do 
Do you have any drawers? Oh boy, let's just see what Mattress Boy has in his drawers. Okay, map, not not too nefarious. Uh, another 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 map. This is uh, this is this is this is just just maps. Is why why is he? Who needs this? Who needs this many maps? I don't. Okay, um, so definitely taking a picture of this half of a note. Find the other half at some point soon, I'm sure. God, what's this? helping you. Um, let's see if those lights work, though. Like, like, let's see, we got some lights on in the hisses. Oh, I think it looks different. <gasps> yes! Look at that! So as we ride back into the world of mist, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button uh, and like this video. It really helps out with bringing in new viewers to the channel. And uh, we will see you at the next playthrough. See you now.